For the past 10 years, Moneca de Oro has been traveling between her home in Guam and the Northern Marianas, visiting family and friends. She planned to move to the NMI in a few years, but things changed when the pandemic hit. And the COVID situation on Guam really accelerated. My move to the CNMI definitely planned on moving here in 2022, um, but I'm currently eight months pregnant. The anxiety amid a third wave of COVID-19 on Guam was overwhelming. And so much of my family and friends were getting, um, were contracting the virus. And I also had a friend uh, lose her life to the virus, which just, and this was just in late August. And that really like um, mentally strains me. So a few weeks ago, she moved with her son and partner to find refuge in Saipan, where there hasn't been community transmission in over 200 days and a mandatory quarantine for all incoming travelers serves as the island's first defense. Because their immune systems are suppressed, the, the virus really um, impacts pregnant women at a, at a harder rate, and that just really um, scared me. Pregnant women face different challenges in this pandemic, and it's two different worlds when it comes to COVID-19 in Guam and in the NMI. Reading some reports and reading some other some other things around the vaccination and pregnancy, and also just hearing from my doctor, I knew that it was the best move for me and my and for um, my, the health. I live with my mom, who's high risk, and I see my grandmother a lot. So I knew that uh, getting vaccinated was important. And the opportunity to work remotely has meant a chance to breathe easier and work on projects that connect the region. Meanwhile, she says there are many lessons that need to be learned in this pandemic, as she's heard other expectant mothers face challenges of their own on Guam. Like one of the things that is, I find completely problematic on Guam is the lack of, quor of qu quarantine for travelers. The biggest um, incidences have always been when there's a military ship that comes in that has COVID and there's pretty much no restrictions on what they've on, on their movement. Still, with a baby on the way, she remains hopeful that lessons learned will mean more lives can be lived. Tomas Manglonia for KUM News on Saipan.